I'm sure most of you know already that IT and I are friends from university in Manchester. Um, <clears throat> I remember coming home one weekend, showing my mum some photos from a night out, and um, there was a one photo of me and a particularly attractive Indian girl. And my mum was like, who's that? I was like, oh, it's my friend Ertie. She's like, get in there, lad. <laughs> get in there. For those of you not from Wigan, I think means something like, she looks nice, why don't you ask her out for a date? <laughs> Ati. Our Ati, I would say. Sweet. Kind-hearted. Unselfish, self enduring, always think of the others first. A very supportive person. I will miss you a lot. So, for nine years, I spent my life playing with my imaginary friend, Miss Raggedy Ann. Every day I prayed to have a sister. Then one day, mum approached me and told me the words that I had dreamed of hearing. Finally, I was going to get a baby sister. But our first kiss on 30th of March, 2012. And to be honest, I pretty much knew from then that, that, that this was it for me. I would like things same for Artie, but it did take me almost exactly a year to persuade her to officially be my girlfriend. As the years go by, Artie, from being a little munchkin sister that I forever nurtured, she's now the one that project manages me, keeping me on track, When life fills you with unexpected challenges, she is my healing crystal. I remember the day she moved in very well, because it was awful. <laughs> her mum and dad brought her down to the flat with all her stuff. We sat down for dinner. I looked over the table and all three of them were crying. <laughs> but in, in hindsight, you know, <clears throat> it was an emotional time for them. RT was, you know, officially leaving home. And her parents were leaving the daughter in the hands of a white boy from Wigan. <laughs> Not even a doctor. Thank you. 